right where you are. Don't move. Stay there now. Steady. Now, get up! Get up! Get up, you! Up, you fool! Up! Get up, I said. Get up! I speak to salesman, pal. Well, uh, I'm the salesman, Stanley Livington. I'm the clerk in charge of all jungle books. And at 11 o'clock, giving a lecture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a book by the name of Dark uh, Safari by Cuddleford. Dark Safari by Cuddleford? We did have it. But we got rid of it some time ago. I want to tell you, gentlemen, I read that book. I had nightmares for nine months. How well do you remember that book? Why? You remember a map that a map in that book? Of course I remember it. Could you draw it? Could I draw it? For a thousand dollars? Draw that map in that book for a thousand dollars? Ha For a thousand dollars I could draw that map in oil. Okay, then meet us in the alley tonight at 7.30. And we'll take you to somebody who'll give you a thousand dollars the minute you lay down the pencil. Is it a deal? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, pal. See you in the alley tonight at 7.30. And be there, chum. Get me? Thousand dollars to draw that map. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that book is out of print. In fact, we sold the last one some time ago. Oh dear, I was afraid of that. I've been to every bookstore in the city. There's a map in that book that I'd give twenty-five hundred dollars for. Uh, will you give me that again, please? I said there was a map in that book that I'd give twenty-five hundred dollars for. Twenty-five hundred dollars. Uh, excuse me, I'll be right back. What are you doing? Hey, Buzz, this you'll never believe. There were two guys in here. Look, I am Look, Stanley, how well do you remember that book you read about, uh, Doc Safari? That's what I'm trying to tell you. There were two guys in now here. look, uh, you remember there was a map in it? You too. Uh, now, go away, go away, go away. What are you doing there? I'm drawing that map now. Oh, no, you don't. Wait a minute. Oh, you can't. Buzz, oh, don't tear that up. I've got a chance to make it. Quiet. quiet. Come on, follow me. Oh, oh, hey, look, look, look. Take it easy, take it easy. Come on, oh, Madam, you are the luckiest person in New York this morning. Allow me to introduce Stanley Livington. One of the world's greatest wild game hunters. Oh, well, how exciting. No. Wild game hunters are my weakness. This is really a thrill, Mr. Livington. So nice meeting you, too, but I'm really not... Uh, it might interest you to know that uh, when Mr. Cuddleford wrote Doc Safari, Mr. Livington was right there. Oh, oh wonderful. <laughs> then you must be very familiar with the map that is in that book. Uh, the map? Yes. Oh, sure. That's one map I could draw in a dark room, even without a pencil. You see, your troubles were all over. Uh, I could make arrangements to bring him over to your home this evening. Oh, no. marvelous. No. I think it's a wonderful idea. No. My name is Emerson, Diana Emerson. How do you do, Miss Emerson? But no, I got a date in the alley. She'll have to wait. She'll have to wait. Here's oh. my address. Uh, see you tonight, then. Goodbye. Goodbye. That's the kind of girl I dream about. But you should see the ones I get. I tell you, boss, the guy said he knew the map back. So we make a date to meet him, bring him in, have him draw it. Yeah, and the little muslin never shows up after us offering him a grand. Well, you can relax. I found somebody myself this morning. You did, boss? Where? In Clopper's department store. That's where we found our guy. Wait a minute. 
Was he a silly looking little fat guy? That's him. Why, that two timer. You offer him a thousand and he holds out for a higher price. The minute he puts his foot through the door, I break every bone in his head. You'll do no such thing. When he leaves, you boys can meet him outside and get my money back. We get you, boss. Now go out the side entrance. I'm closing a deal with the man who's going to leave the safari. Won't you come in, Mr. Beatty? This is the place. Now, don't forget, she thinks you're a big game hunter. Buzz, why do you keep getting me in the middle? I wish you hadn't. Why, you ingrate. Here, I'm giving you a chance to make me $2,500. Is that the way you want to repay me for all the things I could have done for you? Come on. I'm sorry. Oh, come on. Stanley, will you come on? I'm shutting off the water. Well, turn it off and come on. I stopped it. Good. Come on up here. May I see you a minute, please? Now, now what's the matter? My finger's stuck. Well, leave it then. Come on. Okay. What's the matter? Well, let me see this. Uh, not that one. Not that. Not that one. That one. Oh, Don't that one. Wait a minute. Harry, did you answer the door? No. Do I have to answer the door? Oh, all right. Do everything around here. Get this. New office. I gotta be a cook and a butler. One of these days, I'll just... Well, so I'll just do it. Yes? Uh, Mr. Johnson and Mr. Livington to see Miss Emerson. Well, come in. Well, who is knocking? Well, come in. Miss Emerson is busy for the moment. Will you step in the living room, please? Pat. <coughs> Thank you. Ow, that hurt. That belongs on outside. Yeah, I can't get it off. Help me get it off. Well, you get your hand. Well, yeah. not so hard. You get your hand out. I pull it off. Pull it. Get your hand out of the way now. Get your hand out of the way. I get it. Get your hand well, out of the way. Get it off. Well, get your hand out of the way. I get it off. Naturally, I haven't publicized the expedition because I could easily become the victim of unscrupulous people. If that map's one of the few in existence, the owner would practically have you in the palm of his hand. This man coming tonight is the gullible type, but fairly intelligent. If he can remember the map accurately, we'll proceed at once. That'll be fine with me, Miss Emerson. And now regarding your fee. Suppose we say 5000 in advance and 15000 on completion. That's very liberal. On the contrary, money is no object, as long as I get what I'm after. Come on, will you? <laughs> ah, that is so not that hand, this one. Well, put this hand in your pocket. <laughs> get your hand out of it. Oh. <laughs> oh, sometimes it's... Oh. I just found out that map is worth more than $2,500, that woman. I can't get over it. All I did was go like this, no order came out. Are you listening? Come on. Come on! You go in the living room and wait. I'm going to snoop around here and find out more about this deal. Go ahead. Who is at the door, Harry? Uh, Mr. Livington and Mr. Johnson. Good. Where are they? They're in the living room. I'll see them in a minute, and we'll have coffee in the library. Harry, I'm phoning Gunner to come over. Please leave the door open. Yes, ma'am. Excuse me. I didn't order anybody in the room. I'm awfully sorry. Say, hold it. Wait where you want. You know, you standing in front of this here picture reminds me of my last expedition in Africa. Is that so? Yes, indeedy. Yes, indeedy. And it was my most dangerous expedition. We were after cats. Big cats. You know what cats are? Lines, I imagine. Oh, there's no imagine about it, my friend. Lines are lines. Here or any place, they're lines. You can't imagine they're lines. 
Oh, no, indeedy. I want to tell you something. My first afternoon out, I bagged 64 lines. Dad, what a hunt. Really? Oh, yes. And then I ran into an old friend of mine, Clyde Beatty. No. Yeah. And was he hurt? He didn't bag a line for two weeks. Really? <laughs> I bagged them all. He couldn't hit one of them. <laughs> of course, when it comes to handling lines, he don't know from nothing. I am the boy right over here. <laughs> I want to tell you something else, too, between you and I. Clyde Beatty is a phony. On the side, a pretty nice fella, but between you and I, a phony. <laughs> something else I want to tell you, friend. Who do you think tames the lines that he has inside the cages? Me, Stanley Livington, the world's greatest hunter. No kidding. Yes, sir. Well, one of the greatest. <laughs> By the way, what's your name? Uh, Clyde Beatty. Clyde Beatty. Clyde, it's nice knowing you. I want you to stick around because I'm going to tell you how I used to go in myself and tame those lions. Now, when it comes to taming the animals, Clyde... Clyde! Clyde! Oh, good evening. I, I see you've met Mr. Livington, our big uh, wild game hunter, eh? Yes, indeed. Swell. He just didn't tell me about some of his exploits. Oh, oh swell, swell, that's fine. Uh, tell him about the time you and Clyde Beatty went tiger hunting in India. That's yes, I'd like to hear about it. Yeah, yeah, yes, indeed. Why, he, uh, Stanley tells me that he outshot Beatty five to one. <laughs> uh, by the way, I don't think you've introduced me to this gentleman. Uh, Clyde Beatty. Clyde, Be uh, Cl 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 Clyde Beatty. Uh, I'll be seeing you around. Uh, Mr. Beatty. I'm sorry for what I said about Mr. Beatty. Excuse me. Why, oh, Mr. Johnson and Mr. Livington, please forgive me for keeping you waiting. You met Mr. Beatty? It seems Mr. Livington and I are old hunting pals. Won't you gentlemen have a table? And after coffee, we'll have Mr. Livington draw the map. Well, I'm terribly sorry. Mr. Livington will not be able to draw the map. But he's got to. The whole success of my trip depends on it. You mean you intend to take a trip to Africa? Very definitely. I'm planning a safari. I wonder if I may be excused. I know you folks would rather talk business in private. If you don't mind, I think it would be better. Mr. Beatty's half, Harry. Excuse me, gentlemen. Night, old friend. Quick, grapple and boots are outside waiting to slug Johnson and Livington. Tell them the plans have changed and to lay off. Yes, ma'am. Look, Buzz. Let me draw the map. We'll get to $2,500 and get out of here. Uh, certainly not. Now, if I play your cards right, we'll get more than $2,500. Uh, listen. You, you heard her. She's organizing a safari. I wish I was there. Uh, where? On a Hoboken safari right, right now. Uh, 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 Stanley, you're, um, you're absolutely right. Uh, as you surmised, to be frank with you, I don't blame you for having the desire. Desire to what? Uh, of course, I'll, I'll have to explain everything explain to the lady. Explain it to me. Uh, uh, Mr. Livington insists on uh, journeying a safari to Africa. I insist? Yeah, there you are. You heard oh, it from his oh, own lips. Oh, just, uh, hello. Just a bit. How do you do? Uh, I you, you see, with Mr. Livington in Africa, uh, he'd feel right at home, and it'd be very simple for him to draw the map without any difficulties. I think it's an excellent idea. Silly. Once we're there, he can lead us to the East Fork and the Tarabongo and Okavango River. Yeah. Lead you to the fork? Yes, yeah, uh, surely, of course, it'll be the regular $5,000 fee in advance and uh, $15,000 on completion. Of course, that includes my services. What? Splendid. That's uh, fine. And for your safety, I'm going to assign you my best follow-upper. Uh, follow-upper? Follow Yes, he's the man who follows you in the jungle, and if you miss a shot of the charging animal, he shoots and saves your life. Oh, that's him now. Excuse me. Miss Shelley. Hey, listen, Buzz. Oh. I'm not going to go over there. You've got no right to put me in a thing like that. Oh, what kind of money? You're always putting me don't right in the middle of me. Wait, I don't care what kind of money. Don't you give me that. No, listen, you've got no. to over there. No, no arguments. I'm not going to go over there, but all don't those lines. I tell you. I'm going to start going to get away with it. I'm not going to argue. No, no, I'm not. I won't. Gunner, I'd like to have you meet Mr. Johnson and Mr. Livington. Gunner Jensen. Hi. Uh, I don't want to seem inquisitive, but uh, just what are we going to Africa for? Well, we're going after an orangutan gargantua. Orangutan gargantua? Excuse me, please. Uh, Let me ask you. What's orangutan gargantua? Uh, it's a big ape. Oh, a big ape. Yeah, stop worrying. Big ape? Excuse me, excuse me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Big ape? Yeah. You mean like the thing I see in a circus, like the father to the monkey? Uh, yeah, it's only bigger. Bigger. And he's going to protect me? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Gunner, show them how you can shoot the Winchester. You missed the lion. 
I raised the gun to my shoulder, looked through the peep sight, and I... I looked through the peep sight, put my finger on the trigger, grabbed for the pump slide, and I... I... <laughs> no pump slide. Stanley. Stanley. Now where did he go? Stanley! Fine, Miss Emerson, and in the morning we'll start for the interior. Very good. Well, we've looked the whole place over. You want to know something, boss? This don't look like a place to find diamonds. You fool! Did you ever mention the word diamonds? We're supposed to be after an orangutan. And another thing, boss. I'm getting awfully sick of these two guys you're depending on. They're always fouling us up. Just be patient. It won't be long now before the map is in my hands. Drop everything. 
everything. Huh? Drop everything. Hey, come here. Come here, Sammy. Get out. Get out from under there. Hurry up. Come here. Come on, Sammy. Oh, boss. Oh. Just when I had the tent off. Never mind the tent. Come over here and draw that map. The map? The map. If I draw, will you let me go home? Why do you want to go home? I forgot something. What did you forget? I forgot to say that. Hey, draw the map. Come on. Boy, oh boy, can you picture me a tycoon? Oh, ho, ho. Building, yachts, railroads. I don't know. I might even buy an airline. According to how I feel. Why, winters in Maine, summers in Florida. Oh, it's unbelievable. Kid him. He could even get his laundry out. Have you got it ready yet? Come on. You got it? Hello, boy. Oh, this paper here is worth a million dollars. A million dollars? Well, I mean, I thought I did it. Give me something. I got to have something for it. Oh, sure, sure. I intended to. Here. Here. Here's a nickel. Thank you. Hello, boy. Oh, a nickel. Hello, Diana. Harrison, tea from Mr. Johnson. And plenty of sugar. Wonderful day we're having. You're looking marvelous yourself. You're in fine spirits. I have all the reasons in the world to be. I finally persuaded Stanley to draw the map. Oh, well, may I see it? Uh, I also made some very interesting discoveries. Uh, aside from the orangutan, there are far more uh, important things to be found in that particular territory. Really? Yes, and due to the facts, I personally think I'm entitled to a new deal. Well, what kind of a deal did you have in mind? Well, I'd say 20% uh, of the safari's profits would be fair. Very liberal. In view of your generosity, may I see the map? Oh, yes, surely, surely, surely. Now, uh, this map will take you right to, uh... Um, uh, there seems to be something lacking here. Uh, I'll see Stanley. There's some detail work. He, uh, he's, he hasn't really uh, completed the map. I'll be right back. Here's your tea. I put plenty of sugar in it. Uh, drink it yourself. Oh, drink it yourself. Drink it yourself. Harry, I want to see Boots and Grappler immediately. Ooh. All right. Why, Zalik, huh? Now, what's the matter with you? Thought you were putting something over on me. This is not the map that was in Cuddleford's book. Oh, yes, it is. This, this thing tells you how to get the Clopper's department store. Well, that's the map. I used to keep that map in Cuddleford's book. Listen, you nitwitted numbskull. These people want a map of the Bangi Territory. The Bangi Territory? Bangi Territory? Yes. I was wondering why they want to pay all that kind of money just to find the directions how I get the Clopper's department store. See? That I couldn't understand. Just a minute. Do you realize we're in the most dangerous spot we've ever been in our lives? Dangerous spot? Dangerous spot. Buzz, what? Is it worse than the time when Skinny Marine knocked the chip off my shoulder? Ah, certainly. Worse than that? I should say it is. And the time I drew the line like that? Far more. Yeah, but that time he came over the line. It's worse than that? Never mind that. It's worse than oh, that. Oh, are we in trouble? Wait a minute. Oh. We've got to do something. I have it. We've got to get out. Sure. Come on. Come on, hurry up. Come on. Get all of that. Come on. Yeah, come on. Come on. Let's go. What you doing, boys? Going somewhere, fellas? We were just going to take these little trunks inside the tent. Get moving. Hey, 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 hey. Go ahead. Knock the chip off my shoulder. Not that. Your head's liable to go with it. Oh. Go on. Get moving. Tom, um, get sick and tired of getting pushed around by you guys. Did you hear me? Get sick and tired of it. Hey, come on back. Come on back. Hey, come on back. Hey, hey come on back. Hey, hey! Step on that side of the line. Come on. Mm -hmm. Stanley! Stanley, no, don't bother me. Stanley, you're, gonna, you're not going to kill anyone. Don't hold me back. Don't do that. Somebody's got to get it. And when I get this mad, somebody's got to get it. Stanley. <laughs> Fine friend you are. You bring me away out here in the heart of the jungle. Why? Because you told me that you could draw the map. You can't draw it, can you? You know you couldn't. Why'd you bring me away out here? Now what am I going to do? What am I going to do with the boats I was going to buy, and the buildings I was going to buy, the railroads I was going to buy? Put that down. That's a fine how do you do. Nice goings on from a pal, from a friend. I never, I never expected it from you. I'll have to go into bankruptcy, that's all. That's all that's left for me to do. And what'll my friend say? To think that you, my bosom friend. Look, where are you going with the water? Oh, my tent's on fire! Well, what have you got to say for yourself? What 
stopping here for us early yet. Well, this is where Cuddleford stopped. Now, uh, on the bottom of page 389, according to Cuddleford, he wrote that he had a very uneventful day. Therefore, he made camp on the bank of the Crocodile River. Now, over there is the Crocodile River. Uh-uh. Over here. <laughs> uh, you'll have to forgive him. You see, Stanley is actually living the book. That's not all. Huh. That night, Cuddleford, he posted a double guard because he was nearing the Bangi country, which was full of ferocious animals and cattle. Stanley's right. This is pretty dangerous territory. I suggest we pitch camp on this side tonight. But that means we're losing an entire half day. Well, if you cross over, you're going to lose two days anyway. Why? Well, according to Cuddleford, when he crossed the river, he was brought down by jungle fever. And he was that way for 36 hours. Mr. Emerson, I think we should look for a location to pitch camp. Your heart, Mr. Dee. Stanley, come in. You better use a little more tech when you talk to Miss Emerson. You know, she's liable to send us back to the States. Good, good. Good, good. You, what's the matter? Oh, my goodness. You worrying about that? That's just a little baby lion. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'll get a hold of him. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Push, don't. Ah, Push. Don't. don't. Here, let it here. Yeah, remember what happened in Clopper's department store. Don't do it. Now, don't get excited. Don't, don't this little cat was raised on milk. So was I, but I ain't meat now. Uh, Take it away. It. Go, go, ahead, go back it. to his mother. Huh? Touch it. Now, go ahead. Touch, touch it. it. There you are. Like, <laughs> you see? Yeah, yeah. There you are. Go ahead. Now, go ahead. There he is. Look how cute he runs. Hey, I got my finger back. What do you I mean you got your finger? You touched I, him, didn't I, you? I touched a real lion. That's all there is to it. A real lion. I... Brave, too. I... Well, that's it. Just like that. That'll take that fear out of you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to capture that little baby lion, and I'm going to bring it back to Diana. Hey, wait a minute. That's a good idea. That'll put us in good with her. Yeah. Go ahead, kid. I'll see you at camp. da 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 Well, Buzz, I guess we lost that pussy cat. Oh, Buzz! Oh, no. Hey, Buzz! Oh, Buzz! Hey, it's dark down there. I can't see a thing. How'd you fall in a trap anyway, you clumsy boy? I'm gonna throw you some rope down there. Can't see a thing, so grab for it. Now, boy. You better go on a diet because she'll get awful fat and awful heavy. Give me the other end of the rope. Thank you. Now we'll leave it here for whoever flogs them. Check on that trap. Stanley! Stanley! All right, boys. We've done a good job now. Take them back to the truck. Come on, boys. Back to the truck. Look out there, fellow. There's a trap right there in front of you. A trap? Thanks, Ranger. Hey, my name is Buzz Johnson. I'm looking for a little chubby guy by the name of Stanley Livington. Have you seen him? No, I haven't. My name is Frank Buck. Frank Buck? Well, I'm certainly glad to know you. I'm glad to see you. I'm looking for a great big guy called Orangutan Gargantua. 
Have you seen him? No, oh, no. Well, I just built this trap for him. Come on, you better get away from this trap. I think we better. Say, Mr. Buck, is there really yeah. such an animal as an orangutan or gantua? Of course there is. There is. There's one right around this district now. Great big fellow. About 20 feet high. Face almost human. Matter of fact, I've got traps all around here. Step for them. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mr. Buck, I, I wonder if you'd help me find my camp. Why, I'd be very glad to. Trap! Trap! Boy! Oh, please! Captured by a human being. You two take the ball now. Drop the net. Come on, Mr. Bull. Come on, get, it, get, get him up there. Get him up. Heist him up. Take this rock out of the room. Careful, boy. Is he ferocious? Well, we don't know. I don't know. You been? I've searched this jungle all night long for you. Last night I'm gonna take that shot. 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 Yeah, it's a trap. You're doing it all wrong. What do you mean I'm doing it all wrong? This guy don't know from nothing about building the trap. Uh, I showed Frank Buck how to build all his traps, every one of them. Yeah. He listens to me. Will I'm you... one of the biggest game hunters in the whole world. That's yeah. why I'm over here. Yeah, wait a minute. I, I, you, you, you got the whole thing. Well, it's, it's long. Yeah, will you keep quiet? Will you let it's long over here. With, will you keep quiet after what I saw last night? I'm the boss. I know what I'm talking about. It's what. It's, it's one. Who's this character? Frank Buck. <laughs> Frank Buck. How do you do? Yeah. I'll see you later, Mr. Buck. Yeah, we'll get on with the truck and stand over there. Boy, set the trap again now. Get it all ready. Mr. Buck, the boys are finished resetting the trap. All right, go down the other way now and set the other one. Yes. I'm sorry I fell on your trap. Oh, that's all right. But last night I saw something like I never saw before in my life. Now, even in a nightmare, I never saw anything like this. I'm sorry, he had a head like that. All right, go ahead. I'm not looking right at him like that. I'm just... Keep your food. Come on. I'm not... I just follow the trail exactly as I told you, yeah. and you won't miss it. And look well, out for my traps. Now, wait, right. I think you better take a gun along with you. Well, right, George, I think we can use one. Yeah. Thanks a lot. All right. So long, Mr. Buck. Uh, so long. Oh, so long. Bye, boys. Come on, come on. Take it easy. Take it easy. What a business for a guy to be in. Crocodiles and lions bring a lot of dough back in the state. You can have it. Okay, boys, you're finished. Let's go back to the compound. Well, boys, after this, 
swim, I'll feel like a diamond in a rough. Yeah. Diamond. That's right. Stanley, I think Diane is trying to put something over on us. Doesn't it seem funny to you that as soon as Clyde Beatty goes out to bag lions, she lets us come down here to take a swim in the river? Oh, tush. tush. Now, never mind the tush tush. I can use it. I can use it. Just a minute. We may be in the uh, diamond territory. Maybe she knows where the diamonds are. Buzz. Maybe she has the diamonds. Buzz, you got to take it easy. You need more sleep nights, kid. I now, forget know, about diamonds. I'm a little worried. Don't get worried. Hold it. I know. Come on. Let's go in and take a bath. A bathe or something. And swim nicely. All right, put it down. Put it down. Come on, let's go. Well? The last one in is a whole maze. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Where are you going? I'm going to dive in. In there? Of course you're there. I got to dive in over there. I got your head over there. Uh, did you read this sign? What? Do you know what that sign says? Who's walking on the grass? Hey, wait a minute. You can't dive in there. There's nothing but crocodiles in there. Oh. Uh, what? Crocodiles? Wait a minute. Don't get excited. Don't get excited. You see, over here, there's nothing but nets. I, I dive inside the net. Yeah, the crocodiles can't get in the nets. That's good. That's well. Go ahead right in. Enjoy yourself. Okay. Can you make it? Oh, come on. That's warm. It's cute. Sure. That a boy. Whoa, boy. Where you going? <laughs> what a belly flop. Hey, Bud. Right. Watch my impersonation. Oh, you, you do impersonation? Yeah. Watch. My first one. A seal. A seal. Here I go. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? All right. Hey, watch my animal. What's it? A whale. A whale. Mm. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's a whale. Yeah, hey, watch this one, Buzz. An alligator. Look, I want to go in there, too, you know. When I do the alligator. Well, let me go. Here I go. Yeah. Buzz. Buzz. How you like that? The guy couldn't wait. He had to dive in. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> hey, Buzz. Buzz, stop tickling. <laughs> stop! Stop tickling, Buzz. <laughs> He's a playful little son of a gun. Buzz, will you come on? Buzz, come up where we are. <laughs> Buzz, will you... Buzz, will you stop? I don't want to play anymore. Buzz, no more. Now, will you come up wherever you are? Oh, Buzz, I'm... Good. I even... Good. I even... Good. I even... Good. I... to try those cats out before he sends them back to the sea. It worries me. Doesn't worry me half as much as those two knotheads you brought along with us. Relax. Yes. Well, please don't make me do this. You're going to do it. I don't want to. You're making a coward out of me. No, I'm not making a coward the out of you. The gossip that's going around this camp. Stanley's a coward. Stanley's a coward. Afraid of a little teeny weeny alligator like that. Big alligator. Oh, stop it. Are you afraid of that? I think so. Oh, stop. It's only a skin. Feel it, feel it. Don't be afraid of it. Enough. Now look. I'm gonna make a hero out of you, whether you like it or not. I'm going down that path. You know where the water bag is? Yeah. You meet me there. I'll be in this skin. Uh-huh. And make sure you bring Diana with you. Oh, you want me to get Diana and bring her over by the path by the water bag? Oh, gonna think it's Then you're gonna have the line skin on and then <laughs> That's it. <him. laughs> Just act like Clyde Beatty. Okay, Buzz. Atta boy. I'm going over to have a chit-chat with Diane. Atta I'm going to show her I'm a pretty brave kid, and I don't like this kind of talk going around. Why are you talking? Don't forget about the path by the water bag. I'll be there. Well, boys, in a little while we can say goodbye to Mr. Beatty and his lions and crocodiles and cages. Tag this one for shipment back to the States. He's a good one. And get the other three ready for the training cage. I'll be back later then to work them out. Diane? Yes, Danny. I would like to have a chit-chat with you, if you don't mind. Of course. Excuse us, fellas. Now, uh, 
A few things I want to get straightened out. I, uh... Yes? Let us tell you over here. Diana, there's some talk going around this camp, and I don't like it. I don't like it no how. And I'm getting plenty peeved about it, and I have a right to have a drink. People are going around saying that I'm afraid of lions. Well, that's not true. That's a lie. I'm one of the finest big game hunters in the world. No one surpasses Stanley Livington. Do you think the lions that Clyde Beatty catches are big ones? Ha, <laughs> ha. They're nothing but kittens. A little bit of kittens. Why, I want to tell you something. I'm going on a big game hunt myself. I'm going to catch a lion just for you to show you how big I can catch him. <laughs> you afraid of lions? No. Good. Take a look. <laughs> Stanley. Stanley, what's the matter with you? She scared me. Oh, never mind. Listen, I'm going into the cage. And you behave yourself. You can't understand why he gets so scared. Nice work, Buzz. Look. He's heading him toward the cage. Well, I'll be. Come on, come on. Get in the cage now. I'll show you who's the boss. Come on, come on. Get up there. Come on, get up there, will you? Atta boy. Hey, Buzz, this I gotta tell you. You walked in the cage like a real lion. You even hopped around like a real lion. You wanna know something else? You even smell like a real lion. And that's the part I don't understand. Stop breathing down my neck, too. I don't like that. How do you do? Oh, this is gonna be horrible. Hey, you come off her close. Now, cut it out of here, right in the push with a chair. I'm not afraid of nothing. How do you do? I'm a pretty brave kid. I don't care about kittens. I don't care how big the kittens are. How we doing? Hey, Buzz, get those nails filed. They hurt. Oh. I've seen enough. Stanley! 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 Come out of there! <laughs> hey, Buzz, did we fool them? <laughs> I wish you could have got the look on their faces when they saw you in here. <laughs> then come out! <laughs> I can't. I locked the door over here. <laughs> well, throw the key out. I threw the key out long ago. Uh, where? Over there! <laughs> Go away before you clear it. What are you talking about? <laughs> they don't know you're inside the lion's skin. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll look for the key. <laughs> oh, the big guy. What a look on his face. <laughs> Buzz, I want to tell you, you should have seen that big guy's face. <laughs> Buzz. 
Stanley, you got nothing to worry about. Stanley! Stanley! Oh, no. No. Oh. Stanley! Stanley! Where, what'd you do with my buddy? All my fault. I should have never let him do it. My bosom pal. Why is this cat in here? And who locked this gate? All right, let's rest them in. You know Mirage? I know Mirage. You're real. Sure. You 
double cross. Oh, 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 oh. What's the matter with you? Oh, oh. What's the matter? How do you like that? I was sitting on a piece of broken milk bottle. Uh, yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That's a diamond. I'm going to throw it away. No, that's a real diamond. That's a real diamond? That's what I've been looking for. That is, that is. But, no, don't touch. Don't get hoggish. It's mine. I found them. I, I found a diamond. Diamond? That's you... a piece of broken milk bottle. Don't tell me what it is. There's another piece over I... there. I've been looking at that one for a long time. Stanley. It's another diamond. A real diamond. Look at them. <laughs> look. Stanley, look at here. Come here. Follow me. There's another one. This is unbelievable. You Come on. Come on, Stanley. Stanley, look. Another one. I'm rich. I'm wealthy, Stanley. Can you imagine? Look, Stanley. Come here. Look at here. Look, Stanley. It's another one. I, I can buy buildings. I can buy polo ponies. I can buy yachts. I can buy everything that my heart desires. I... Stanley. Do my eyes deceive me? Look, Stanley. Stanley, another one. Stanley, look at that. Look at the size of that diamond. Well, don't stand there. Think of something I can buy for myself. Think of something. I... Put that away. Can you... Stanley, look at here. Look at here. Stanley, two of them. Hold these. Hold these, Stanley. Hold them. Don't drop them, Stanley. What your eyes see, your heart must believe. Two of them. Real... What are you doing with my diamonds? Trying to steal them? Yeah, that's not... Hold that. Yeah. My diamond. My diamond. Another diamond. Another diamond. We're on the right trail. Stanley, we're... look, Stanley, come here. <laughs> Stanley, my back is broken. Pick that up. Hurry up, put it on here. You want to know something? What? There's another one. Well, pick it up. Put it on here. I'm watching come you. Who? Huh? Look. Another one. Another one. Come on, put it on here. Boy, oh boy. Another one. Can you imagine nothing but diamonds? You untied yourself. I did not. Well, un untie me. Come on. Are you kidding? Un no, he ain't. Come on, hurry up. Take these down. Get them off. Get these off. Hurry up. Thank <laughs> you. 
Clyde Beatty out here to capture wild animals. You didn't fool me for a minute. Well, just why did I come to Africa, Mr. Johnson? Diamonds. And I know just where they are. And you can lead us to these diamonds? That I can. But first, we'll talk business. You and I will cut this pie right down the center. Isn't that wrong? Now, no bickering. Take it or leave it. I don't seem to have any alternative. That you haven't. So, when you make up your mind, just give Buzz a buzz, huh? Yeah, big boy, hold on to that. Boss, about splitting that pie down the center. I'll handle this my own way. Get ready to break up camp while I give Mr. Beatty his walking papers. Hey, boy. Boy, come in. Now, yeah. uh, gather up my belongings that are scattered around here. I might be moving to better quarters. Uh, by the way, leave these things right here in case that uh, little fat boy, you know, little fat boy? Eh? Uh, if he does show up, this is good enough for him. Go. Pull it. Hello, Tom Bullet. They took you tell me by your son, huh? Chief wants to see head man. Yes, sir. So I've decided there's no such thing as an orangutan gargantua. And now that we have enough animals to have made the expedition worthwhile, I suggest that you and your men prepare to leave for the coast. That's all right with me, Miss Emerson. I'll go and tell my men. All right, Mr. Beatty. Miss Emerson, Miss Emerson, there's some fellas out there who want to see you. They want to hold a conference. I think you'd better hurry. All right, Harry. Chief, what talk? We'll talk in the house. Hello. Chief say, many white men come to land of Bankers for diamonds. Many white men die. Why does the chief want to see me? Chief want to be your friend. Chief want to make deal. Want to trade these. Diamonds. What does the chief want for the diamonds? Chief have sweet tooth for a little fat man. Him? Oh, no. Oh, not him. No. Little fat man. Strong, strong. Little fat man. Friend of tall, thin man. Oh, Stanley. Tell the chief he's made a deal. Jack Albon. Umgawa. Ndio. Chief say, deal good. Excellent. Just gonna sell him on the hoof. Gunner, who is it? It's me, Buzz. Have you seen Stanley? Well, if you see him, tell him to hide until he sees me. If I see him, I'll tell him. Yeah. But so far, I haven't even seen Africa. How is it? Oh, oh Gunner. Hey. I'll tell him later. Diana, there's something I want to tell you. We're in very dangerous territory. Last night, Buzz and I were captured by the cannibals. Man-eating cannibals. And you know what they did? They tied us up to the stakes. And one guy looked at me and he went mm -hmm, mm -hmm, like this. And I know that was for no good. And I want to tell you something else. I escaped. And then I untied Buzz and he escaped. And there they were, all these cannibals. And I was starting to fight them. And I hit one with the right. And another one with the right. I hit one with a fancy uppercut. I went like this. Boom! And I, and I hit another one with the right. And I, and then I, I kept having One guy looked just like him. He had a hat on like that, too. And this guy that had a hat on like this, I hit him such a belt. I went, whop! <laughs> right on the side of the head over here, I hit the guy. Oh, he's got the bump. There it is. Oh! Oh, no!
diamonds. Diamonds dropped in my lap by some kind fate. Thin man running through the jungle? No, and I don't want to either. Now I'll never catch up with them. Where are you going? Wait a minute. Where are you going? I've got to find them. You're not going to run around this jungle alone. You stay right here with me. <laughs> Shoot and shoot to kill. I know you do, Gunner. I won't give you any trouble. You, you won't even know I'm here. Don't press in so hard. Oh, oh, scared, eh? Look at your face. It's getting greener and greener, inch by inch. And you're getting spots on your kisser. Stanley, don't force me to pull this trigger. I got an itchy finger. <laughs> Ah, here it is. My diamonds. Where are my diamonds? I put them here. My diamonds. Who's that? Is that you, Harry? It's me, Harry. He's scared stiff. He didn't budge an inch. He didn't? No. Did oh, you he... find boots and grappler? No, I didn't. I'll tell you what you do. Keep Stanley covered. I got him. Keep him covered. Got him? We'll, we'll bring him back to camp. Okay. He's, he's, he's a pretty dangerous kid, this Stanley. You did a good job there, kid. Oh, not Let's a squawk out of him. Keep walking. Hands high, keep walking. Hey, Diamond. Got to be around here someplace. Yeah, that's the mark. Why should this happen to me? I, I planted him right here. Me, who's been so good to his friends. They've got to be here. They must be here. My diamonds are out. Keep walking. Keep walking. How did you ever get into this mess? I don't understand. Come on. Keep walking. 
Hey, uh, keep going. I got my eye on you. What are you trying to do, make a monkey out of me? I see you.
on one of my yachts right now. <laughs> Look at that bastard. A rat. Can't understand it. Bus! 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 Where are you going? I'm going home. Away from me. Take no, me. you don't. I've had enough of you. Move the rap over here. Oh, nothing on. over there. You're nothing but a little jinx. You've always been a jinx to me. I don't understand it. You don't understand it. I don't understand. Go on, get yourself lost. Hey, bud! I'm coming on that rap! Now I'm all alone. What's gonna happen to me now? has been more eagerly awaited. It couldn't be made till the perfect star was found. But who will portray the gallant and heroic Jack? Only one actor has the bearing, the stature, the Olympian fortitude. And here he is. I fear nothing when I am in the right. Whoever pushes me around will find me full of fight. <laughs> Jack and the Beanstalk is on the screen. But something new has been added to the best-loved legend of all time. And that something is laughter, as only Abbott and Costello can make it. With Lou as Jerk, er, Jack, that is, and Bud as Mr. Dinklepuss, fearless, peerless, and spineless. We gotta save her. You're right. The There's prince. the castle. Come on. I... What am I doing? Go ahead. Yes, here are all the wonders of the story every mother has told her child, and every child will tell his children. The magic beanstalk, the enchanted forest, the fearsome giant, and all the marvels of his castle, the talking heart, the hen that lays the golden eggs, the captive princess, all brought to the screen in a brilliant blaze of pageantry, with Abbott and Costello at their hilarious best in a laugh-loaded, song-sprayed adventure into Never Never Land that you will ever remember. Jack and the Beanstalk will long remember when I manage this, boy. Jack and the Beanstalk will hear a giant in his den. Dark 
darling, a song for darling, darling. I can't eat, you ruin my appetite. Oh, Mr. Giant, you should eat something. Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, no. Uh, no. Uh, Mr. D. Dracula sleeps in this coffin, but rises every night at sunset. Chick is right. This is awful silly stuff. Come on, take it all out. Wow! Look out, Chick! Cover up! Come on, wait a minute! The nation's top comics, Abbott and Costello. Petrified, but hilariously. Stop! Plus the dangerous and terrifying Wolfman, played by Lon Chaney. Plus that fiend out of a nightmare, the vampire Batman, Count Dracula, played by Bela Lugosi. Plus the most dreaded creature of them all, the Frankenstein monster, played by Glenn Strange. Plus a couple of luscious but designing females in the spookiest laugh fest on record. You're always getting yourself into something. What's the matter with you? Honest, folks. We're, we're not really the pirates. We couldn't be pirates. I'm afraid to be a pirate. You're afraid. You're a afraidy cat. I'm afraid of no man. No man at all? No man at all. Aren't you even afraid of a kid? Not even a kid. You're afraid of no kid? No kid. <laughs> no kid. Captain Kid. Holding a girl is something you won't forbid. No, sir, he never did. Not if we first let her meet Captain Kidd. Yes, sir, he mates. Unfurl the binnacle, scuttle the barnacle, and swab the skipper. Because you're sailing into a gale of laughter and heading for Pleasure Island. Lose a sea wolf in ship's clothing. And what a kisser. What a kisser. Bud's an old son of a sea cook, all mixed up in a pirate stew. And wait till you see Charles Lawton as Captain Kidd. When the boys get through with him, he's the only pirate to ever have a nervous breakdown. This thing's driving me crazy. He went that away. <laughs> and rounding out a fun-bound crew for an exciting cruise through dangerous waters and the mysterious isles, is Hillary Brooke, Fran Warren, and Life Erickson. We were in danger before until we were safely on shore. I'm north of nowhere, south of someday. I'd rather go in her quarters. We're going to Captain Kidd's quarters. He don't appeal to me. Ooh! <laughs> ah!
refuse to believe it. Why do you bring my sister flowers? Because you want to marry her? It's all part of the racket. Where is Eloise? Putting on her lipstick so you can kiss it off. Come on, young fella. I'll put you to bed. Or your sister and I are going to be late for dress rehearsal. Why do I have to go to bed? Only children go to bed this early. Arthur, I didn't hear you come in. You should have. I made quite an entrance, thanks to Junior. Donald, didn't you promise Mother and Dad you'd be a good boy? I am being good. It just happens that their standards are much higher than mine. Where's his babysitter? His sitter? Uh, well, Donald, go in and wash your teeth and go to bed. And don't wake your baby sister. What's the matter? No babysitter. There are dozens of babysitters in the neighborhood. Well, not for my dear brother. He's been declared out of bounds. Have you tried the employment agencies? They don't have babysitters. Well, it looks like my understudy will have to go on tonight. Start calling every employment agency till you find one that's open. Get somebody, anybody. It sounds like a bad idea, but I'll do it. And I'll handle my pal Donald. <laughs> Pretty reckless driving. I'll say it is. You ought to watch where you're going, big boy. Uh, what are you trying to do? Get away? Out of my way. Out of my way, shorty. <laughs> I ought to run you in for this. You're big enough to carry me in. Uh, officer, we're terribly sorry. Well, all right, but don't let this happen again. Right. And get off of my car. What are you going to do with that? Put it away. Well, keep it there. Yes. Uh-huh. I'd better hang up. We've been talking for 10 minutes. Here comes my heavy date for tonight. Bye. Who you calling a heavy date? You. Can you wait outside for five minutes? Or will you get a ticket? Well, if I do, I can get it fixed. I have influence. <laughs> Why don't you look where you're going? See you outside, baby. 
What do you see in a tall, dark, handsome fella? Plenty. Girls never say that to me. What do they say to you? Shh, nothing mixed up. Cosman Employment Agency. Yes, I have been on the phone for quite a while. I'm sorry, we don't list babysitters. Uh, just a minute, lady. You are, minute. Looking, you are looking at the world's greatest babysitter. That's right, yeah. miss. Sure. He is the best. Where do you fit into this? Oh, I'm his agent. Yes. He lets me keep 10% of everything I earn. I'm sorry I took so long, but fortunately, a professional babysitter just came in. May I have your address, please? Thank you. He'll be right out. Goodbye. Oh, thank you, miss. Gee, you're wonderful. I like girls like you. Eyes of blue and five feet two. Timber! Sorry to be late. It's okay. Shall we go? You mean you and I are going out together? You see, Dink, I have a way with girls. Please. Now listen. Yes, Daddy. He's, he's so big. Come on, we've got a babysit. Get with it. Why? Why are you so clumsy? I'm excited. Why? This is my first job. Gee, I hope he's a sweet child. Oh. I love children. Come on. It's about time they got here. Are you the... Uh, babysitter? Uh, he sure is. You're kind of big for a baby. <laughs> You're not for me. Oh, uh, rejected again. I guess it isn't my night. Won't you come in? Uh, sure. Surely. Well, we'll be plenty of comfortable here. Well, it's too late to get anyone else. Have you had much experience with babies? Oh, yes, sir. I've been a baby all my life. Uh, don't you worry about Jack. Uh, the kids just love him. He makes them feel so superior. In which they are. Sure. Well, they're both sound asleep, and I'm sure you won't hear a sound out of them all night. But if you need anything... Oh, no, madam. I won't need a thing. I'm prepared for everything. No one's prepared for Donald. Hmm? Well, good luck, and we'll be home after 11. Oh, you're going out right now? Mm -hmm. Oh, costumes. Going to a masquerade ball? No, a play. Play? Kids are going to play. May I see out the doors? Excuse me. May I help you? Oh, miss, in case I want to see the children, just where are they? Oh, they're in the bedroom down the hall. Thank you. Okay. High class, huh? <coughs> Music to my ears. My first victim, duty calls. See you, Mr. Dingle. This calls for action. Shh, quiet. Want to wake up your sweet little brother? Now I seem to be in trouble. This is my real business. I know kids. Good night. Get me a glass of milk. What'd you say? I said, get me a glass of milk. This is unbelievable. This kid talks better than me. You're not very bright. I'm sorry, kid. But I'm, what school did you go to? The baby isn't talking. I am. I know you're talking, but who? I'm talking over here. This kid ain't even moving her lips. This is a baby ventriloquist. I'm talking over here. I know it's you. I mean, I'm... You... Oh, the, the, you! What's your name? Donald. Are you a good boy? No, it's not my nature. I'm a problem child. You're a little kid. He's a problem child. It's like me, I think. Would you like to have me read you a story before you fall asleep? That's been tried, too. Oh, this kid can try, too. I'm telling you, Tom. I ought to, I ought to, I ought to... Jack and the 
Beanstalk. That's my favorite novel. Donald, can I read this to you? Well, I want to keep you happy. Let's hear how it goes. Thank you, Donald. <laughs> Once upon a time, that's pretty exciting, isn't it? Once upon a time, a whole village was ter... A whole village was ter... Terrorized. Yeah. Yeah. The whole village was terrorized by a fer... A fer... Ferocious. Yeah. Donald, do me a favor. This is a very exciting book about the giant and everything. Will you read it to me? Please, I can't get over the big words. Only because I'm fascinated by you. Here, hold my club. Yes, fascinated. Once upon a time, a whole village was terrorized mm -hmm. by a ferocious giant yeah. who lived in a castle in the sky. In this village lived a simple peasant boy named Jack and his widowed mother. They had come upon hard times because of the giant. One day, Jack was told to bring their only cow to the market and sell him for food. Jack, being a very stupid boy, sold him five small beans. <coughs> 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 Princess Eloise. Your Highness. I wonder if I could have a glass of water. Yes, Your Highness. Hey, Billy. Can you imagine me getting water for the princess? Uh-oh. You see anything, Billy? Oh, Princess, I would have brung you to water. I'm a little tired of people waiting on me. It must be wonderful to be allowed to do everything you want to, whenever you want to. Oh, you don't get around much, do you? Well, what do you mean? You mean you haven't heard? There's no food in the village. The giant, he's taken everything. He's even taken your father's crown jewels, didn't he? That's why I have to marry Prince Arthur. Well, isn't it a love match? I've never even seen him. But his people have money. Did you ever have to marry a man you've never seen? They, they tell me I'm a boy. <laughs> so you are, and a very nice boy. Thank you, Your Highness. Why don't you run away? Princesses can't do that. Oh, but maybe he'll be young and handsome and you'll fall madly in love with him. That only happens in fairy tales. But thank you for the water. Thank you, Your Highness. And Princess, remember, have courage. Fear nothing when you're in the right. That's my motto. Jack. Yes, Mother. Jack, you must stop talking to yourself. I wasn't talking to myself, Mother. I was talking to the Princess Eloise. Princesses don't talk to peasant boys. Oh, Jack, when are you going to grow up and get some sense? Does one go with the other? Jack, I've come to a very important decision. You're not going to give me away? No. If we're not to starve, I'll have to sell our last valuable possession. No, you're not going to sell the cow. She has to go. You can't sell Henry. Jack. How many times have I told you Henry isn't a proper name for a car? All right. From now on, I'll call her Albert. 
But you still can't sell Henry. Take her to the market this morning, but be sure to get a good price. Yes, Mother. You can depend on me. Whatever they bid, I'll bid higher. Jack, you'll be selling, not buying. There's a difference? Fetch me a pail of water and then be on your way. Yes, Mother. Now look, Henry. This is the last time I'm gonna let you look. You look beautiful. You and I are gonna part very soon. You are the only thing I, I love. Now this is the last look you're gonna get, Henry. Take a look. Don't you look pretty? Oh, parting is such sorrow. We gotta go, Henry. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Tell me, young fellow, will this road take me to the royal palace? No, sir, but your horse will. Say, you're Prince Arthur. So they tell me. Oh, boy, will the princess be surprised. The princess Eloise? Mm-hmm. You should have heard what she said about you this morning. No worse than I said about her. Any girl who will marry a man for his father's money. Uh-oh. The giant! It's the giant, Henry. But you're safe with me. I won't let him take you. See? What did I tell you, Henry? I protected you. Now look, Henry. I gotta go tell the prince about the bad giant stay here. Hey, prince. Where did you go? Oh, come on. This is no time to play games. Oh, prince. Oh, prince. Hey, prince. <laughs> But why don't you have any cloth? My good woman, for cloth you need wool, and for wool you need sheep, and someone stole all our sheep. Oh, I don't believe that silly story about the giant. Oh, there's a giant all right, Mrs. Murgatroyd, because I saw him. You see a lot of things that other people don't. Did you really see him, Jack? I saw his shadow. How do you know it was the giant shadow? That's a very good question. Goodbye. Where are you taking my cow? I'm going to take my cow to Mr. Dinklepush the butcher. What's all the excitement? You have a whole cow. Hey, don't you try to deceive us. You're not going to hold this one for the black market. The idea of selling those less sirloin sticks for seven cents a pound, there ought to be a law. Oh, ladies, 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 I haven't seen a cow around here for a month. But you bring somebody to me with such an animal, I'll reward him like he's never been rewarded in his life. I'll make him rich, richer beyond his dreams. I'll pour gold into his pocket. I'll pour gold so deep that... Wait a minute, not that scrawny animal. <laughs> You're not trying to pawn him off to me as first grade beef. Why well, wouldn't let my worst customer use him for stew? Her. And I love Henry. Well, everybody to their taste, but come inside, Jack, and I'll give you the best deal that I can afford. Come on, Henry. Imagine that. I mean, all the beef we haven't had, and look at this big cow. I'd like to get some of that. I certainly would, too. What you doing? Hey, what's the idea of that? Well, I don't want everyone to know how generous I am. Oh, how much are you going to give me for the cow? Well, you're asking money for that wonderful animal? I was going to give you beans. What do I want with beans? What do you want with my magic beans? I should have my head examined. <laughs> Trying to make you rich. Money you're asking for, eh? Hey? I'll give you money. Worthless money. How much do you want? Any price at all. How much? Now, wait a minute, Mr. Dinklepuss. I, I, I don't want that worthless money. Either I get the magic beans or I take Henry home. Oh, you, you strike a hard bargain, boy. No beans, no cow. Well, I know when I'm licked. Uh, come on out in the garden. I keep my beans hidden out there. Come on. 
Magic beans. You gotta get up awfully early in the morning to put anything over on me. Come on, Henry. Let's go, Henry. Henry. One, two, three, four. Now, they must be around here someplace. You've gotta keep them buried, you know. You can't let the village know where these magic beans are. They're priceless. There they are. My magic beans. Don't tell anybody that I gave them to you, will you? Yes, sir. Shh, it's a secret. But I'll never realize, I'll never know how you ever talked me out of them. Mr. Dinklepuss. What? Can I say goodbye to Henry? Well, surely, go ahead. Alone. Alone? Right ahead. I gotta say goodbye now. Be a good boy for Mr. Dinklepuss. Do you mind if I kiss you goodbye, Henry? He is such a good pal. The princess! The giant has stolen the princess! Henry, you hear what they're yelling? The giant has kidnapped the princess. Goodbye, Henry. I've been robbed. Mother! Mother! A terrible thing has happened. Oh, somebody swindled you out of our cow. Oh, no. I made a nice deal for Henry. But the giant kidnapped the princess and is holding her for ransom. Oh, the poor girl. I'll gladly contribute the money you got for the cow. Money? Only a fool would take worthless money for such a valuable animal. I got five magic beans. Oh, Jack, why is it whenever I send you on an errand, you always do the wrong thing? One, two, three, four, five magic beans. Ain't I a smart boy for outsmarting a butcher? You were indeed. Plant the beans, my boy. Maybe they'll grow something that we can eat. Mother, plant the beans, Jack. I'll plant the beans. I'll plant them. <laughs> oh, you're not ordinary beans, are you? Please, beans. Will you grow like magic beans so I can prove to my mother and everybody else that I'm not addled brain like they think I am? Or am I? Uh. Oh, magic beans. One, two, three, four, five. Grow. Please grow. Jack, will you please go to bed? Yes, Mother. Please grow for me, magic beans. Please. Mother. I am 
your mother. M M mother. Look! Look! The beanstalk! that I planted five magic beans. Jack, dear, please stop repeating that nonsense. Mother, this isn't nonsense. This is the truth. Hey, are those the beans that I gave you for that cow that disappeared? You mean Henry ran away? Yes, and I want my beans back. Don't you dare disturb that beanstalk. It might lead up to the giant's castle. So what? So what? Maybe a brave boy will climb that beanstalk and kill the giant and save the princess and live happily ever after. Oh, no, Jack. The giant will kill you like he did your poor father. Have no fear, Mother. I'm going to climb that beanstalk, and I'm going to kill the giant and avenge my father. And then I'm going to save the princess, and while I'm up there, I'll look for our little Nellie. You mean this boy had a sister? You poor, unfortunate woman. Oh, no. Nellie was our hen who laid the golden eggs. A hen that lays a golden egg? Fourteen carat. Up there? Oh, sure. Well, let me help you, my boy. Goodbye, Mother. I'll go along with you. Goodbye, Mother. That's the boy. Take your time now. There we go. Goodbye, Mother. <laughs> don't worry, Mrs. Strong. He won't be back. Oh, you don't understand. He wasn't much, but he was all I had. <sighs> Scooping up the beanstalk And with another fool Maybe tonight the two Will be bottling alcohol There goes Jack The village loon And almost up the beanstalk Scampering to the moon Doesn't know what he's doing He's hurrying to his room No giant finds it bothersome To grapple with the midget He'll pinion Jack beneath his thumb And spank him with a digit Spank him with a digit Jack and the beanstalk Will long remember when He shaded up the stalk To hear the giant in his den Once up the beanstalk If Jack set up on Then Jack be nimble Jack be Take a 
Let's go. The giant! I'm the butcher. Well, cut me up. Mr. Dinklepuss. What? The giant's castle. What? Hey, you're right. Look at it. Come on. We're in giant land. Wait a minute. Hmm? Look at those footprints. Uh-oh. We must be getting close to the giant. Come on. Mr. Dinklepuss. Now, wait a minute. Are you sure that hen Nellie lays golden eggs? Uh-huh. 14 carat? Uh-huh. Well, then don't be afraid. I won't. Just follow me. What's the matter? How come your shadow is bigger than mine? Well, the taller you are, the taller your shadow. You see, that's the basic principle of mathematics. I am shorter than you. Therefore, my shadow should be smaller than yours. Mathematically speaking, right? Right. Why? My shadow is making a fool out of your mathematics. Why, why that's impossible. That can't be your shadow. No? Well, watch this. Amazing. Hey, uh, you think so? Now watch this. Can you imagine that? Now if I didn't see this with my own eyes, I wouldn't believe it. It's absolute it's a Hey. What the su the su You gotta look at this. This, this, is, this is terrific. <laughs> Mr. Dinklepuss. Mr. Dinklepuss. Oh. I think he's afraid of my shadow. Why don't you be like me? I'm brave. Because I fear nothing when I am in the right. Whoever pushes me around will find me full of fight. I fear nothing when I do nothing wrong. And so I toddle on my way and sing a merry song. I'll be defiant and be obstreperous. If any giant should try to salt and pepper us, and I'll rise up, up to my fullest height. Cause I fear absolutely nothing when I am in the <laughs> a man believes what he believes And by these principles a man must stand A time will come for rolled up sleeves And it might help to have a fist on hand If I believe that I am right There's only one thing to be done I don't go looking for a fight But I have never run away from one But only fools will take a dare And there are things that only fools do find if you smell trouble in the air, I'll hold my breath until the breeze blows by. I'll snore defiance like some rhinoceros, afraid of giants 
Now isn't that preposterous? I find courage a thing of great delight. Sink feely and feely, I would steady hand and steely I I fear nothing when I get here before me. I made a new path through the forest. Did you see what I saw? Did you see that giant? He's as big as the trees. Please, why did you ever talk me into this thing? I didn't talk you into this. Now listen, you know my reputation in the village. You know I had to listen to you. Why did I ever let you do it? Why did you do it? Look, don't stand there with your mouth wide open. Say something. Mr. Dinklepuss, I'm up here to save the princess. The princess? We gotta save her. You're right. The There's princess. the castle. Let's go. Come on. I... What am I doing? Go ahead. Thank you. Oh, it's beautiful. But it's a trifle too small for me. A trifle, she says. Glory be, I do wish I knew why the master keeps a wench like you around. He likes my cooking. And I don't want to hear another word out of you. A cooking? Can you make an Irish stew? Can you boil a potato like my poor mother used to boil them? I can put you back in the cupboard if you don't shut up. And I can tell the master you never put the princess in our cell like he told you to. You win this time. Patrick always wins. Come back to earn my morning, my morning. Ah, it is in fine voice I am today. I still can't believe that harp talks. He talks too much. How do I look? Ready to be locked up. Or do I have to be? Orders, me dainty beauty. Orders. Unfortunately, he's right. I meant to ask you, are you the giant's wife? Heavens no. I'm his housekeeper. He stole me last year from another kingdom. Well, what'll he do with me? Release you for ransom money, perhaps. And if there is no ransom money? You'd make a lovely Sunday dinner. Music? In a dungeon like this? Thank you for calling him music, whoever you may be. Who is he? A troubadour the giant picked up yesterday. Who are you? Just a girl from the village below. What's your name? Um, Darlene. Are you as pretty as your name? My guess is yes. That's a nice melody. Are there words to it? Not yet, but there can be by tonight. What will you be doing? Mm, what did you have in mind? A rendezvous in the garden. I'll speak to the giant about it. Be five, oh, fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind his bones to make my bread. Mister, if I'm too heavy for you, I just leave walk. Me too. <laughs> Open the door! Take me 
пиво те. Some extra help for the kitchen. You're a little one, aren't you? But I grow on people. Ah! Bless you, me boy, bless you. Who said that? What do you know? A talking harp. You said that? I said bless you. And I'm sorry now that I see your silly little face a bit closer. Oh, I mean... Thank you, Master. Oh, Tis a sight for sore eyes it is, yeah. Thank you, Patrick. Well, I'm off to hunt in the forest. Will you want any supper? Just a midnight snack. Anyone we know? <laughs> Could be. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Did you hear that? I hope it's not me. <laughs> well, what's the matter with you? <laughs> You're standing on my foot. Ah. Oh. Come with me. <laughs> I'll show you what you're supposed to do. Yeah, you show me and I'll show him. Make the little fat one work till his back breaks. Oh, I love the sound of cracking bones. You're a bad harp and you're going to have a bad end. Sticks and stones, sticks and stones. All right, blabbermouth. Into the cupboard you go. Don't you dare put me in that dark cupboard again. Don't you dare. A thousand curses on you. Well, I'll have me revenge. Come back to it. My morning, my morning. A thousand curses on you, Master Ma That harp had very bad bringing up. You must be hungry. Would you like a glass of milk before supper's ready? Uh, thanks. Thank you, miss. Or is it missus? It's miss. Why? Well, when I look at now, you... Now, now, wait. Now, now. You're too young to go out with girls. Yeah, but this might age me fast. Here's to us. Now, leave that alone. I'm not lose any of it. Well, don't get hoggish. To, to us. us. Why, you sweep me off my feet. I'd need a little help for that. Well, here. It's Henry's. She's here. How do you know? No other milk ever tasted this pleasant. Where is she? There's plenty of time for that. But I have an idea how we can escape, if you're interested. We're interested. Not me. Not unless I can take along the princess. Does she mean that much to you? Oh, no. You jealous? You needn't be. I promised my mother that I would return home with the princess. And after all, a boy's best mother is his friend. Hmm. Huh? Is that right? No! Your song's finished. My song? Listen. Darling, a song for darling. Darling, for you alone. Darling, your name is music. Music I've never known. He walks in heaven who walks with music and it's heaven being here heaven being very Mush. Jack! Princess! Shh, shh, don't call me that. What do you hear? Incognito? Well, sort of. There's a young man in the next cell, and I don't want him to know who I am. Why not? Well, all my life I've wanted someone to know me as me, not as Princess Eloise. 
You have but to command, your highness. Here, eat this. That will make it good and strong so we can sail it over the wall. Sail me over the wall? Yes, we're going to build catapults out in the garden. And the housekeeper, she thought of it. She's on our side. Oh, wonderful. You don't suppose she'd let us out tonight for a rendezvous in the garden? Princess, I didn't think that you cared for me. Not you. I meant the young man I told you about. Oh. Well, if I approve, after all, I am one of your royal subjects. And I do so want to see our princess go out with the right fellow. Goodbye, your highness. Prince Arthur, I wondered what happened to you. Say, uh, aren't you the young fellow with the cow? I'm alone now. Here's your supper. I guess the princess was disappointed when I didn't show up for the wedding. I never saw a girl cry so much in her life. What are you whispering for? I don't want the girl in the other cell to know I'm a prince. You know? No, um, look, you seem to have some influence around here. You don't suppose you could, uh, let you out tonight so you could have a rendezvous in the garden? How did you know? It's a secret. But first of all, I'll have to get you some other clothes, because the clothes you have on make you look too much like a prince. Prince? Er, your highness, excuse me. Goodbye. I'm sorry. What have you decided? Well, his parents don't have the background of yours, but he's a wonderful fellow. And your loyal subject approves. Thank you, Jack. through telling the housekeeper, and now I'm going to tell you. What's on your mind? The prince is not the prince, and the princess is not the princess. Then who are they? Just a boy and girl in love. Tonight, I want you to order a full moon and keep the stars shining bright. History is going to be made tonight. <laughs> princess. Mr. Dinklepuss, I just got through telling you. She's not the princess. She's Darlene, larger princess. Are these the catapults? Y yes, this is my own creation. You see, all you have to do is get on here, I cut the rope and zoom you right over the wall. Will it work? She's asking me, will it work? <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking you too, will it work? Will it work? Get on here, Jack. Wait a minute, is it dangerous? Well, it's far too dangerous for a human being. But get on here, I'll show you whether it'll work or not. Get Wait a minute, too dangerous. Much too dangerous for a human being. <laughs> Come, princess, I mean, Darlene. <laughs> Oh, it's a lovely night to be somebody else. Tell me, what's he like? He sings very pretty. Oh, I know, but shall I... Shall I let him kiss me if he tries? Oh, princess. Why not? I have your word you won't try to escape. You have my word. He loves me, he loves me not, he loves me. Stop right there. Don't take a chance. You're... And you're... That's right. Is it? I didn't expect somebody, so... Neither did I. Won't you... Sit down? Thank you, I will. Would I be bold if I... If you put your arm around me? There's a dreamer's club that dreamers weave A tapestry of make-believe A fine brocade fabric from the mill of dreams the threads are golden of silken strands but not 
someday our arms entwine Will weave a dreamer's cloth that yours and mine Imagination isn't real but isn't it a spinning wheel that spins the
do you do with the hammer? What am I doing with the hammer? <laughs> I'm going to tap every one of those hens until I find the one that lays the golden egg. Father, what a cricket? No. Ah, I'm sick and tired of that line. <laughs> Mr. Dinglepuss, make sure you find Nellie. I'll find her, all right. Mr. Dinglepuss? Yes? Did you find Nellie yet? Not yet. Well, she's easy to find. She's pure white and wears a little red hat. Have you got that chicken food uh, mixed up yet? Oh, it will be soon. And where did you see the eggs they laid? Well, hurry up. I've got to get to the catapults. Farm boy, I'm one guy that knows how to mix this food, Mr. Dinklepuss. Well, feed the chickens. I will. <laughs> well, go ahead, feed it to him. Okay. Chicken, 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 chicken. Good, good morning to you, Master. Erden Gobra. Good morning, Hart. Housekeeper, housekeeper. Where's my breakfast? On the way. And bring me my favorite hen. And what, heaven forbid, do you see in that white feather, Biddy? Golden eggs, Patrick. Solid golden eggs. The cells are unlocked and I put the keys back. The whispering master. What are they whispering about? Oh, I hate him. Please take care of yourself. I think she's worried. She cares for me. Where's my breakfast? Yes, master. Here's the eggs. Everything is going fine. I'll go mad, stark, raving mad if they don't stop that whispering. Hey, get a load of those jewels. Come on. Beautiful they are, but can they bring you happiness? How'd that little one get in here? Where's my breakfast? You heard the giant. Can I help you put him away? Can I trust you? Uh, why, what a ridiculous question. Can I trust you? Well, frankly, no. My jewel of jewels. My jewel of jewels. What can she do that I can't do? Can you lay a golden egg? I shudder at the thought. Show him how talented you are. Lay, hen, lay. Nellie. How could you? It's only gold. It's my main source of wealth. Take her away. You. Uh, yes, sir. I like a dishonest man who admits it. Carry these jewels back to the vault. She'll show you where it is. Yes, sir. Do I or don't I get my breakfast? Yes, sir. Man could starve around here. Make me a small omelet. Two eggs? Twenty-two. Too. Fresh laid this morning. I fixed them special breakfast food myself.
What's all that shooting around here? Don't ask me, ask the eggs. Eggs don't explode. Oh, no? Oh, this. You ruined my appetite. Oh, Mr. Giant, you should eat something. Yeah. 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 No. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Uh, no. Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Uh, Dinkelpuss! Uh, Mr. Dinkelpuss! Boy, when the giant gets that in his stomach. I'll go get the giant. Be fi fo fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead. I grind his bones and make my bread. Keep him solid. Who's trying to steal my treasures? We are. What about it? Door's locked. The window's too high. Now what do we Think, do? Jack. Think. I got it. What? You take Darlene. Put her on a mantelpiece over the fireplace. Hurry up. Come on. Quick. Mr. Dinklepuss, you and Polly get under the chandelier. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Get under the chandelier. Oh, Hurry up. Master, tis a black day indeed. You keep your mouth shut, or I'll cut you to ribbons. Hey, hey, come in. Now look, I'm gonna get the chandelier over here. I'm gonna put you on and sail you right out the window. And Darlene's coming next. Now you get it. Look out. Here you are. 
Do be careful. I'll try. Come on, Mr. Dinklepush. You're next. I'll be right back. Uh, I forgot a couple of things. Mr. Dinklepuss, huh? why you greedy boy? What do you mean? What are you doing with the giant's jewels and my nelly? Never mind that. Swing me out of here. Take your time. There's no rush. What do you mean? Ah, ah, sh quiet. Quiet, my little gold mine. <laughs> it's my nelly. Let me, let me see the jewels. Oh, no. They're mine. All mine. I share them with no one. I I come a long ways with... I could... Oh. Oh. Mr. Dinklepuss, I have not seen a face like that since I seen the pork chop in the window. And you have no fear. Polly and I, we chained the giant up down in the dungeon. He can't get away because I left him. Mr. Dick 
I'm afraid he gave his life for us.
All hail the king! heaven you're safe she's the princess princess eloise why of course prince arthur who did you think she was but what are you doing in those clothes you're prince arthur small world isn't it i never want to speak to you again as long as i live let us go father darlene i mean eloise what's the difference who we are as long as we love each other you knew all the time a prince couldn't break an engagement. And neither could a princess. How are you going to get out of marrying Prince Arthur? Well, how are you going to get out of marrying Princess Eloise? But that's who you two are. Don't you remember? Where's my poor boy? What's happened to Jack? The last I saw him, he was dueling unto death with the giant. Oh, oh but a braver lad never lived. Ready or not, here we come! There's your boy. Come down! There's your boy. Ah. Come on there, boy. I'm coming. There's a hero if there ever was one. You should see him. Come on, boy. Mother. My boy! <laughs> my boy, my boy. Oh, mother. When am I going to prove that I'm a man? The giant were alive, alive this very minute. Look inside his grave and see how lovely he looks in it. He's all laid up like a very good stuff, and he never looked better in his life. We're happy to give the devil his due, and he never looked better in his life. We sing ta la 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 ta la la. see himself he wouldn't know the monster and if he knew him he would be the only one who watched her he met his doom he fought down and go boom and he never looked better in his life someday by gosh he'll be acres of squash and he never looked better in his life he fell on his word of bra la la Several branches of the beanstalk for a necktie. I never seen a better looking couple so delectite. His toes are curled and he's out of this world, and he never looked better in his life. And there he lays to the end of his days, and he never looked better in his life. So tune up the orchestra, la la. Come on, come on. 
kid I ever saw. Hey, Dink, I had the most beautiful dream. Dream? Asleep on the job. Mm. Prince Arthur? Princess Eloise? Mr. Dinklepuss! Dinklepuss? Are you all right? 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 I fear nothing when I am in the right. Whoever pushes me around will find me for love. I fear nothing when I do nothing wrong. And so I turn on my way and sing a merry song. Dee, 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 dee,